Bradley right over the dirt, right over the rocks. The perfect ambush for the cornet. Oh, he turns right when he went to take a shot. Catastrophic. And I did they miss? I think the BMP actually tagged the staircase. Oh my god, incredible win. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down, and in this one, we have sand. Lots and lots of sand. This is Fallujah Territory Control V2, and as y'all saw in the intro, you can't see anything. An incredibly thick layer of yellowish sand covers the entire map, which makes vehicle combat incredibly difficult and infantry combat extremely confusing. Although most people don't really like playing territory control, I feel like this layer is so unique that many people just suck it up and have fun. And I'm glad they did because this ended up being one of the most hilarious rounds for infantry fights, as well as having some awesome vehicle battles. So I hope you guys enjoy. But before we dive into that, I do want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Apex Gaming PCs. I partnered with them for some time now to help you guys get quality custom built PCs. So whether it's your first time in PC gaming or you're a vet, pick up the build that works for your needs and budget. And if you see anything that you want to change, simply customize it yourself. Add more RAM, swap out the graphics card, change the case, whatever you need. And if you click the link in the description below and use code MOY at checkout, you can save up to $250 off your order. Click the link, save some money, and get an awesome PC. Thanks again to Apex Gaming PCs, and now let's get on with the video. Eye in the sky, Fallujah, if you can see through the sandstorm. Yes, this is not some weird bug. There's no fog bug. I know there's a couple maps where all of a sudden the game actually is just bugged out so you can't see. This is part of the map. And as you can see, the blue mosque here now finally in view from the thick, thick sandstorm. Fallujah Territory Control V2. Where do you guys want to put the house? Territory Control is one of the least played game modes. I know we've had a couple of them on Eye in the Sky, but I absolutely love this version of Territory Control. One, because don't want to step on these guys as they plan real quick. Oh, nope, that was it. Okay, yeah, a couple of FOS being planned here, but I absolutely love Fallujah TC v2 because you go around this kind it's like a horseshoe so if you've never played this map uh or rather if you never played this game mode territory control you have an anchor which is your as you can see it actually has an anchor and a shield uh that is almost like your home base for territory you're almost like your main for your territory control and all of your hexes that are blue are yours the red hexes are the enemies and as you can see up here, you have a 33 slash 91. That means you currently own 33 out of the 91 potential hexes. The more hexes you get, the uh, the more tickets that the enemy loses. So at about halfway, you start to get a ticket bleed for the enemy. Uh, and so it's all about controlling the territory. Now, it is important to have habs in an actual hex. A, if a hab... If a hab is built in a hex, it becomes a strong point. And so in order to capture a hex, it's just like capturing a flag. You get three people. You can ca start capping it. Uh, if you have, uh, you know, even even uh, enemy and friendlies on a hex, you don't you can't cap it yet. Pretty straightforward, just like a normal objective. However, if you have a hab on an objective, so for example, they build the fob radio here and they build a hab next to it, 63 would now be a strong point and you can actually take down that hex until the hab is destroyed. Really interesting mechanic, and you will learn very quickly if your team knows how to play this, this game mode or not, depending on where the habs actually show up. So hopefully we get a really competitive game. Uh, Fallujah TC V2 can be extremely entertaining because we have MEA and we're on board with our comms right now. A couple Lodges, a Samir Lodge, the tiny, uh, tiny truck version. A uh, transport truck, two Samirs with one cord, one MG3, a BRDM with the Dumbfire rockets on top, and that upgraded KPVT machine gun coming with V3.2, the BMP2, and a Samir Cornet up against uh, US that are running simply a Striker and a Bradley luck, with everybody. a 240 Mat V and a yeah, 50 cal Mat V with a few Lodges as well. So, uh, it, the normally. I, I would say the the cornet would be a huge benefit for 
MEA, but as you can see, it is so difficult just to, I mean, you can barely see a block away with a sandstorm. So it gets a lot of close quarters fighting. We're going to be turning on our outlines probably quite a bit. So you can see uh, squad three with their uh, coronet. I, I mean, it's going up there, but I would be very surprised if uh, they can see anything up there as we have now the main element of MEA coming right down Main Street. And we're going to stay in the map just for a second as we try to see where the first fight's going to be. Once again, I'd be very surprised if anything happens up north. All going south. And I'm liking Squad 6 is making a fantastic push right down. You want to get bodies on and contest this middle and start securing it as soon as possible. Uh, get those good fobs down. Get your strong points. And it does look like... The middle point, the middle squad point. four. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, I, I, that Matt V actually, Scatizo, might be our first kill here. Maybe we can catch him. This is going to be... Oh, did they actually do it? No way! They might have just barely got under the mid-arm. Enemy MRAP is destroyed. That was a full Mad V. And they just... Bisky Niski celebrating his kill and although you could just barely see that through the the sandstorm, very impressive, just might have gotten out of min arm, and that is a full squad wipe, squad five, uh, for the U.S. getting knocked out with that, and 250 tickets for NBA 237. That's a huge ticket loss right at the right at the get go. Uh, so as we uh, as we move back into where the fighting should be, red once again is U.S. Blue, our, our MEA and. Nacho Libre, Noah, and Black Jesus. <laughs> you guys and your names. I swear. Uh, rolling down Main Street. Should be contesting that. It looks like some more AT popping off. Chunky Prostate. Really? 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 Chunky JPO. Got 10 4. Pinned down on the hill. Looks like he did get his. Uh, RPG 26, maybe not. He's reloading it. Oh, tandem round actually comes in. Zesty could do nothing because you can't see Zesty infantry to try to help him out. Emily Willis was literally right on the other side of the block. Probably didn't even see him because of the sandstorm and the striker uh, US vehicles in shambles. A striker down, which is their only big vehicle because you can see the BMP is now going to have complete fire superior. Oh wait, I forgot. We did have the Bradley actually. Uh, so one Matt V, 150 cal Matt V and one uh, striker down. That is a huge loss. And we're actually going to turn around to the, the south side as it looks like a big push. You see wise old man has found the MEA radio. Not quite sure how they yeah, lost that there. so quickly. Is that striker Old mark U.S. Right? squad pushing in. Secure, secure. Oh, I, have to, I mean, look yeah, at just the... It's so cinematic. I absolutely love... Love when we get kind of new weather, new lighting layers. Absolutely love it. Uh, so MEA fob overrun almost immediately down south. And I'm trying to figure out where exactly this Bradley... He's just chilling kind of in the middle here. You see Swaggy, uh, full Lodgy down south, trying to push up. Uh, everybody needs to, everybody is assuming that they can't see each other. You can see Comb just gets hit. Uh, <laughs> Sigrid and Wix as well getting shot out. Uh, it's almost like I feel like this Sandstorm players are assuming that they're going to be in cover a little bit and... U.S. is getting punished again. Death Avenger, Avenger F-18 Hornet. Now the Lodgy is going to be the last. Oh my goodness. 
That's one Matt V, one Striker, and a Lodgy already down. That was probably full as well. Death Avenger against Cheer... Cheerful Tunic. And that is another wipe. 233 tickets already to 214. And MEA is just... I... I it just seems very careless. Uh, also, this might be a good time to mention... This is late night squad. We we are taking our first foray into Eye in the Sky at night. I, I typically like to cast these during the day. You, you probably have noticed a lot of the same familiar faces in Eye in the Sky. And so I thought, what if we do it at a completely different time? See how squad ends up and maybe some late night Friday shenanigans are already <laughs> taking over as we see... 227 tickets for MEA, 204 for the US, and a lot of vehicles already down. Uh, the FOB has gone down for MEA though, so a good 20 ticket loss. Trying to, trying to soften the, the vehicle blow right now. And mine just went off. Hold on a second. Oh, you can see this. This actually might be fantastic. BMP and Samir Cornet coming in on the south side. Right, if you hang a right, they, they might be able to start to see the Bradley in the distance here. You can start to see infantry moving left to right, and he just might spot the BMP as well. I see a enemy crossing the road, and that's it. I see a ton of enemy crossing the road. And they are just barely gonna miss if we can can we see it uh, the sandstorm is too thick and they can definitely hear it though Bradley just knocked out a lodgy it looks like all right we're gonna have to use the map quite a bit to get some oh here you go Bradley right over the dirt right over the rocks the perfect ambush for the cornet. Oh, he turns right when he went to take a shot. Catastrophic. And I did they miss? I think the BMP actually tagged the staircase. Oh my God! Incredible whiff by MEA after playing so well with vehicles. Oh no, and what should have been a perfect ambush for MEA turns into a catastrophic Uno reverse card for the US. BMP goes down and the Samir Cornet is trying to completely reset. I don't think the Bradley even realized the Samir was there because of how horrible the shot was. Bradley does not realize how lucky he is. No, 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 no. You don't know that. You can hear him. No, he's still here, but he's, he's gone on the other side of the hill. If you can go... Samir Cornet trying to be a bit more patient oh, right here. Right in front of us. Right in front of us. My observe. My observe. My observe. There it goes! What a fantastic oh, shot! Man, Any Bradley is destroyed. And the Bradley, once again, both teams just assuming, hey, I can't see him. It's a sandstorm. I should be safe. And that's Samir Cornet is completely proving me wrong in the the very beginning of the match where i said i don't think it's going to do much and second vehicle down for the samir cornet going to be rtb and to rearm fantastic play by mea let's take a look at that hundred oh those are the ticket loss is absolutely insane how far into the match we're we're about 10 minutes in because you have four minutes from staging the us is already down to 164 tickets 190 for MEA and as we can see the the territory is actually leaning towards the US you can see a uh, 78 is being secured by MEA right now but the whole green zone uh, or I guess south of the green zone the green zone is actually right right here with the palace a uh, south of the green zone it's almost like a door you know a door is on the hinge at 78 and then the US is just going to swing upwards uh we'll we'll see there's a lot of fighting I'm not sure if I like all this fighting up up north here, but U.S. is winning currently on territory, but losing on vehicles and tickets. So we'll have to see how that plays out. 
if we can get some good infantry movement here by the US, they might be able to start making up for how their vehicles have been playing. Linen got wrecked, cheerful, all in good fighting in here. Just holding the south side of the green zone. Jar, I'm not quite sure why he's staying so up high. You can you can see the sandstorm almost tripping him out a little bit, firing at, at things that you might think are bush wookies. You're just not sure. Chaplin and one of his buddies goes down into the this grove, and but look look at the high ground here. Fantastic positioning for the U.S. If they can just take advantage of it, fob up a little bit. Oh, hold on a second. Two fobs right next to each other. Wait a second. Enemy half is going down in F5. You can see this. Big contingent of Americans are actually in the MEA fob, but a train doing his combat engineer work dug it 75% while also already having a C4. That should kick off in about 10 seconds here. As MEA, they were pushing or US rather were pushing the MEA fob, but now have to fall back, try to save the radio. Nash, oh, he needs to be careful. If he actually runs up and times it, he might catch himself. Oh, a train. Trigger discipline. Oh, no, man. I thought he had that one. Unbelievably unlucky. Snags, Swiggy, the SL, and Nash. Oh, I can't believe... Wait, he, he was a combat engineer too, right? Oh, no, he was a rifleman. I apologize. I saw Cherry, the F and G. Uh, I thought he was a... I, I thought A-Train was a, a, a combat engineer able to drop C4. Just a rifleman. Uh, Swiggy goes down, but Nash with the... I believe he has a, a saw. That saw is deadly at Crouch. And Mercer, fantastic. No, knocks out Swaggy. And through the bushes here... Nash just spraying and praying might be the downfall of him because you should see that muzzle flash and a couple more shots by Mercer through the bushes. America's trying to flank around. Mercer needs to watch his right side. Good flank by Mindy. Tags Mercer in the shoulder. And tags him again. One more shot and fantastic movement by Mindy understands where he's coming and tries to get a different angle and saves the radio. Now, it, uh, thankfully, Mercer did give his team a little bit of time and Great Gasly, all the radio was never down. Death Avenger. Great Gasly was trying to push this? Death Avenger, what is happening right now? Ring around the rosy. Nacho Libra on the other side. Death Avenger has to do a reload. Got to push him quick. Oh, fantastic. What a wipe. I I thought this. I Wait, wait a second. Is this what I think it is? This is a US have next to an MEA radio and they're just they're actually fighting next to it. Oh, C4 goes off. MEA and C4, the uh, the Hab, I don't un understand what's happening. Steel, Steel trying to dig it back up. B. Dean, full autos, kills him. His buddy 8-man goes down. K9 Commando also goes down. I don't think the U.S. realized that this is an MEA radio. Because the, the MEA... Yeah, I'm about to call the UAB. I don't understand. Does MEA uh, have their own HAB? Accurate, but I believe it's in yes, this is the MEA HAB right here. MEA HAB Just, next uh, to the US HAB next to the MEA radio <laughs> next to the US radio. It's almost like a who's on first skit. Mindy trying to get their HAB back up, but it might be proxied. Great Gasly trying to push back in and push inside. Knocks out Mindy and another wipe. Doormat following up and it should keep the proxy. Marksman coming in trying to save the day sig has the opportunity owned pilot goes down doormat takes a shot in the back able to 
Get around the corner, might be able to bandage and tie. Oh, another C4! I think that was a friendly doormat. The only medic that could have helped pick his buddies up gets blasted by a friendly C4. Might give Sig a moment. Great Gasly trying to completely dig in this, it off with the stakes. Not able to finish it off. Sig at least knocks out Great with the, the shovel. And what do we got here? BRDM looks like he just blasted an entire squad here. Tries to come in and now A train back to where he was digging down the radio. I cannot believe this is one of the most random, chaotic, nobody knows. Like it's, I believe the sandstorm has got to be added to it. The fact that so many Americans spawned next to it and actually fought next to this radio. Honestly, if I'm also spawning in, in here and I hear the radio, I'm assuming it's friendly. In, in what game do you have a hab next to an enemy radio? Absolutely hilarious. So enemy radio, or I guess uh, American radio is finally on bleed out. A-Train mopping up the work he was doing earlier. And that should that should be it the fight here cigarette there is a squad 2 rally i'm not quite sure what uh, if squad 2 is going to try to hard reset this radio is going to be a complete loss and in the meantime this has just been an absolute i, I believe a uh, ticket grind as we see all the red spilling in the vehicle uh, the vehicle loss early on has just hurt the us you see 40 tickets another 20 the radio finally goes down Another 20 tickets down, and the U.S. is getting absolutely run through. Infantry, uh, it, it does look like it's kind of even. There's been a big northern push, but U.S. is trying to capture some more tickets, uh, some more zones back. A couple misplaced fobs, a couple misplaced vehicle fights, and that looks to, to really have been the nail in the coffin for the U.S. as they try to push into the south side of green zone. Toby boy. With the MG3 earlier, knocking out a couple, but gets killed himself. Trent Hister pushing up and clearing it out. Gets hit by a... It looks like they have a uh, heavy machine gun set up on the cliffside out east here. And good infantry movement by the American squad. I just... I think it's going to be too little too late. 140 tickets to, what, 34? There's no way to get tickets back in this game. Oh, MG3. You see, yeah. Or ye. I don't know why he... That's exactly where his buddy just died. He in a fantastic position right in that bunker and gets a third. It's just too easy. Fourth time's a charm? American trying to peek the corner. Maybe trying to get some smoke out, but that is a, an MG position that you're... Oh, he looks like he... Oh! He actually picks up and moves. I don't know why... Unless he's getting pushed somewhere else. Almost a good grenade. And unbelievable. I don't understand why he moved. And this entire squad is going to get picked up. If you can kill their armor, um, you should have an advantage in terms of tickets. Pushes up to a different position and... That's actually, well, look, you see to the left, our, our two outlines to the left did squirt through. Yee's re- This is how I play machine gun. I just get too impatient. He had it. I think if he had actually stayed there, this entire squad would have been killed because they pushed out when they thought they had smoke cover. And there it goes. 20 more infantry die in quick succession. 129 tickets to zero. Unbelievable. I absolutely thought the uh, the cornet was going to be almost useless and fantastic work by MEA. 147 kills to 93. A lot of the vehicles being the big heavy points. A 28 revives to 39. GG's from MEA. Well played. Fantastic.